Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Cooking for the Family. I'm Devon and today I'm going to share with y'all how to make classic sloppy joes. Now if you grew up for sure in the 60s or 70s and 80s, you had a sloppy joe or two I would imagine because I know we definitely have them at school and at home. So I'm going to share with you my easy recipe for sloppy joes. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our tater tots ready because this is um, our dinner tonight for the family. So I'm just going to put the tater tots. I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm serving ours with tater tots. You can serve them with french fries or potato chips as well if you like. It's kind of up to you. Now next what I do is I have a yellow onion and you can use either a yellow onion or a sweet onion. I'm going to chop up a half of an onion and that's going to roughly give me about one cup of chopped onion and that's what I'm looking for. And if you'd like a little bit more onion, you can definitely bump that up to a cup and a fourth or either a cup and a half. But I find that just about a cup of onion works really good. And this is about the size in which I want to kind of chop up my onion. And that's about the size of like a dime, not, not too much bigger than that. Then I also have my three cloves of garlic and I go ahead and I mince my three cloves of garlic as well. Now once I have my vegetables all chopped up, I'm going to start on making our meat mixture. And so first I put in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And to that I added in my chopped onion and just the onion. I'm not going to add the garlic just yet, just the onion. I'm going to let my onion cook till it gets soft and translucent. And I'm turning my fire down to kind of a low, like a low medium. And while the onion is slowly cooking, I'm getting together the base for our sloppy joes. So in my bowl, I have one tablespoon of light brown sugar. To that, I added one cup of ketchup. You can use ketchup or ketchup, whichever one. Then I'm going to add some regular yellow mustard. Now I'm going to be adding one and a half teaspoons of yellow mustard. I like it just about one teaspoon. My husband likes a little bit more of a tang to it. And so I usually put in the one and a half teaspoons. But after you add the one teaspoon, kind of taste it, see what you think. And if you want a little bit more, you can definitely add that extra half a teaspoon um, you know, of the yellow mustard. So once I have my one tablespoon of light brown sugar, my one cup of regular ketchup, I have one and a half teaspoons of regular yellow mustard. Then we're going to put in some Worcestershire sauce and I'm putting in one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now, um, if you haven't had Sloppy Joe's before, Sloppy Joe's has like a sweet, tangy, um, saucy, a tiny bit of spice to it. Um, kind of mixture with the beef and it is just really good. It just like the flavors just work together so well And I'm going to go ahead and mix and blend this really well after you've mixed in the Worcestershire sauce You want to go ahead and taste it taste your base because this is where you're going to tweak it to your liking I'm going to be adding another one tablespoon of light brown sugar for a total of two tablespoons that I'm going to be using to make my sloppy joes. If you want a little bit more than that, I would add it in teaspoons until you are um, happy with the flavor balance. My onions are nice and soft and so they start to get a little translucent. I'm adding in my ground beef and you can also use ground turkey as well. My ground beef is a lean ground beef. It's an 85-15. If you're using an 80-20 ground beef, you're going to want to drain the fat off of your ground beef before you add your um, base that we made for our Sloppy Joes. So once my ground beef is just about done, then I go ahead and I add in my minced garlic. And that was the three cloves of minced garlic that we did. And that's going to take about a minute to mix in and cook the garlic. Now, once I have the garlic cooked through about 30 seconds to about a minute, I add in my chili powder and I'm using one teaspoon of chili powder. Now in the description box below, I will have a list of all the ingredients you need to make this wonderful classic sloppy joe. And if you are new to my channel, welcome in. And if you're a returner, welcome back. And if you are enjoying the content, I hope you consider subscribing. So next I add in two tablespoons of tomato paste. The tomato paste gives it a nice rich flavor. It really makes a difference in the sloppy joe by adding the tomato paste. That was two tablespoons. 
so don't skip out on the tomato paste. Now when I add the tomato paste, you wanna press it into the meat and blend it around until the meat has been covered. The meat's mostly covered with the tomato paste. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the base of our sloppy joe mix that we made. Blend that around. Now once I have that mixed in, then I'm gonna let it simmer for just a second. While it's starting to simmer, I take a half a cup of water, add it to the bowl that I made the sloppy joe mix in, and I just wanna make sure I get all that little remnants out of the bowl. I'm gonna add the half a cup of water from the bowl into our pan. I mix that really well. Then I'm gonna to top it and I'm going to let our sloppy joe just kind of um, simmer for about five or 10 minutes. So that way everything can really just come together nicely. Now while that's simmering up, I get my buns ready. Now I'm toasting my buns. You don't have to toast your buns. I'm gonna toast them with some butter on my pan. You can um, also put them in the broiler and toast them up like that, or just leave them untoasted. That's just kind of personal preference. But I have a little bit of butter. I'm gonna toast them up in the pan. And then I'm also gonna check on my tater tots because the tater tots, the timer just went off. So I know the tater tots are nice and done. They're nice and crispy. And this is also a great recipe if you're going camping. We love going camping and going fishing. And this is a wonderful recipe to use if you're gonna be going camping because it's a nice change up from just having regular burgers. And so we always have the ketchup and the mustard and all the different ingredients. We take those camping anyway. So this is a great camping recipe. Our sloppy joes are looking good. And this is gonna be enough to feed four. Our fifth one's not home tonight. You can definitely double up the recipe if you're going to be feeding more than four. And if you're going to also have uh, sloppy joes for a party, these make great sloppy joe sliders on a tray with the little small buns. And I like to use the little Hawaiian buns, cut those in half. I put the sloppy joes in the middle and I have them on the tray. And oh my gosh, these are so good as little sloppy joe sliders. While I have our food, it is all ready. I'm doing my little tater tot and sloppy joe bowl. My husband loves this. So I just take the tater tots, I top it with the sloppy joe. I put some um, shredded cheese on top. I'm gonna also get our salad ready. I've made a nice garden salad to go with our dinner tonight. Well, let's go ahead and have a bite of our dinner. And you see why they call this sloppy joes, but I'm gonna give the first bite to you. And I tell you, anytime I have this meal, it so takes me back. My husband said this is like his childhood right here on the plate. Well, go ahead and take your bite. Now I'm going to take my bite and see how we did today. Mm hmm. Y'all, this has come out so good. If you are a lover of Sloppy Joe's or you are being newly introduced to this meal, you definitely have to give it a try. Well, I thank you for spending time with me today in my kitchen. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Show this video some love. Give it a thumbs up. Click share. Share this video with a friend or family. And remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.